What's wrong with the fucking... Throw me to have a gun. We live in a society. You know cavemen have fire, bro, we can't even do that. What's going on, guys? Sam here, braving the elements of Thailand for your entertainment and for your education. <laughs> well, I say that, it's not really gonna be an educational one today. I just wanna sort of ramble a little bit. Do I have autism? And I'm not saying that in like a jokey way or like an insulting way. I'm genuinely questioning whether I have autism. I have had multiple people in my life tell me that I have autistic symptoms, mainly my eye contact. I think that's a really big one. I really struggle with eye contact. And also just being very slow developer, uh, very slow socially. And I've just always felt a little bit different. Um, I've never really fit in. I'm quirky. I'm so quirky. I, I'm not like the other boys. I've went to the doctors with this. I've actually been given a little questionnaire to fill out to sort of gateway myself into getting some sort of autistic test. I got that about three years ago and I never filled in the questionnaire. I think the reason I didn't fill in the questionnaire was one because I was very lazy and two because I had this idea in my head that like what is exactly the benefit of me learning that I'm autistic. It's not going to actually change anything. I'm not suddenly going to get diagnosed with autism and then suddenly I'm just like, I'm not autistic and I'm so good with eye contact and I'm amazing with social skills and stuff. It doesn't really make a difference to me. I've had that mindset anyway, but as I think about it more, I think it'd be really interesting to be able to understand myself a bit more and for other people to be able to understand myself a bit more. I think there's a lot of power in understanding because that's where you can actually build yourself you can build up from those foundations of understanding so i guess this video is me questioning whether i should get tested for autism i'd love to hear anyone else's thoughts who has either got experience with autism or you have autism yourself uh, did getting tested for autism actually change anything for you? I don't see it as like a negative thing. I'm not going to be ashamed if I get the result back and yeah, I'm on the spectrum. I'm not going to be ashamed at all. So it's not really a thing of like, oh, I'm scared to do it because oh, I might not hear what I want to hear. I just didn't think it would like change anything. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. It would explain a lot. It would explain why I was so slow developing. I always felt like I was lagging behind by like three years when I was back in school. It would also explain why I was so very easily drawn into sort of the world of video games, sort of escaping reality. It would explain quite a few things. It would explain why I'm recording a YouTube video in the middle of a tropical thunderstorm in Thailand. <laughs> anyway guys, a little bit of a short one. Uh, sorry there's not much value here. I'm actually looking for value from you guys. I'm actually looking for a bit of input from you guys for this one because I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to approach that. I really appreciate you watching. I really appreciate you commenting. And just in general, um, the reception on my videos since I started making them has been nothing but overwhelming and very heartwarming it's honestly driving me forward I, I i love doing this and i love uh interacting with you guys as well i've been doing quite a lot of that in my discord server which is linked in the description you should join it's it's awesome we're at a really awesome stage with the discord where it's like small enough so you actually get to have like meaningful interactions with the same people every day so you can actually make friends and stuff um enjoy it while it lasts because it was the same with hamza's discord early on in the days hamza my friend who i edit for who's a big youtuber now he had a discord server early on it was a really tight-knit community we had weekly calls and as the server continued to grow it became just sort of like it became cancer. I was thinking of maybe trying to sort of emulate the early Discord vibe from Hamza's Discord and like doing weekly calls and just some community things. So let me know what you think of that. And again, join, uh, it's in the description. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care guys.